This is a parallel shaft concept, and this is the additional to membrane uh, analogy method. And sometimes this method uh, can be applied uh, to help the determine <coughs> certain things. And in this page, I'm showing is this. Here is the hollow shaft. And this hollow shaft, in terms of the membrane behavior, that can be the topology is equal to the membrane, the membrane with the solid base minus the membrane with the base that occupies the hole. You can take the geometrical, kind of the simple uh, set of the union or subtraction. So for this case, the behavior after this uh, subtraction can be utilized, utilized to mimic, to uh, think about the, the hollow shape like this. And that is a principle we can see like this. For example, for a shaft and with this shape, you could imagine it is, excuse me, you could imagine is this, that the result of, whatever the result of this one would be two times of this result minus one time of this. Can you see that one? So basically the two times, let me, let me draw this one. So we are given one, and we are given the other one. Okay, and then uh, then we in the middle, in the middle, the circular area is double it twice. So we take that one off. So basically, it's equivalent to this one. Okay, so that means in terms of the quantitative thing. Then, for example, if you want to analyze, say, the, the maximum string stress, so basically the maximum string stress for this case will be two times of the maximum string stress minus the, the one time of the maximum string stress, kind of roughly. And this should be good because the reason why the parallel shaft is basically is a superposition principle, superposition or super subtraction, right? And the one is the everything is based upon this equation. Okay, based upon this equation. The both are nonlinear differential equations, but both equations are linear. So they can freely to superpose to the other domain or subtract and that is one. Okay. So that is based on this one. So so again, and this one, that pretty much because for every single decomposition is not unique. So for this one, pretty much we can say four times of this one, and then we simply rotate by 90 degrees for each cases and minus the three repeated of the center area. And for this one, that is for your preference. You can take a look at those things. Okay, so um, that is the, situations for uh, for the whole things and let me turn off this one so I'm then uh, now let me get you the the last topic the last topic um,